What is up, everybody? My name is Commander. Welcome back to another episode of Art Survival Evolved. So today, we're going to go over one of the GLC dinos. I originally did this multiple times, this video, multiple times, trying to do them all at once. Well, I figured it, was, it didn't look right, and I wanted to do them one at a time to give them the proper review that they need now that they have had the GLC pack. So first off, we are going to start out with the Argent. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah, look at it. Now you cannot get the blue unless you're using some mods, so uh, or unless you know how to change the color. But basically, yeah, I've changed the color. This thing looks freaking awesome. I'm using randomly colored dinos. Real small mod, doesn't take much to load. Clean and safe to remove, as it just basically adds a command that the Argin will spawn in any color. So we need to talk about this bird right here. Uh, this bird definitely changed you can see the way it flies uh, looking more and more like a vulture each day instead of being a giant raven or crow uh, go ahead and land here just for a second when it walks it even walks like a vulture uh, if you look at it on the ground I mean it's really really cool but again you're kind of getting that vulture vibe from it and I mean we already got a vulture so I'm not the most particularly fond of that. I really like my giant raven. So guys, probably one of the most fun things about the Archer at this point, probably the most not as useful of all the updates, but still very, very useful, is the ability for the Argent to pick up smaller dinos in its feet. You can't pick up a person, but you can pick up a smaller dino. You can go ahead and pick up something like an elk. So now you can carry two dinos that way. So let's say you're removing now and you need to pack some dodos with you. Well, now you can keep Pinky, your favorite prized dodo, in your hands. You can also pick up his two buddies, the one in the beak and the one in the claw. So, a little faster about moving those dinos for you. So, guys, this thing sounds pretty fun. It is the fact that now your archer, whenever it picks up a carcass or anything, and it doesn't have to be a carcass, you can make the kill yourself. But once you've made that kill and you eat from that, that carcass that you've made, you get a health regen. Yeah, that's right. You get a health regen. It adds an extra buff to your health to increase that regen. So if your archer's in bad shape, go eat a corpse, and you can heal up a little faster. So more than likely, what you're going to go ahead and do is use the Argent for one thing and one thing only. Uh, at least in the beginning, that is. Uh, while it is a good battle mode as you get a higher level, the first thing you do with an Argent is the same thing you did with your Pterodon when you first got it. You took the Pterodon out, you flew it all the way up to the mountain, and you got metal. Well, thankfully, since the Argent goes ahead and... As you can see here, if I can get the inventory to open up, the metal weighs only 100 pounds here. The Argent reduces the weight of obsidian, metal, metal ingots, and I believe even crystal. But you can see over here, it weighs 200 pounds, it weighs 100 over here, it reduces the weight by half. So that's all fine and dandy, but it also does it to metal ingots. So we can go ahead and reduce this weight even further. All we have to do is go ahead and throw this metal in these, smor these, these smorges. Smorges. We're going to throw that in there, and I would suggest bringing a lot more wood than what I brought. And we go ahead and smelt them down. All right, guys, so by forging metal, you reduce the weight of metal, raw metal, by half when you put it into ingots. So you obviously lose half the weight. Now, here it is that those metal ingots should have been about 12 pounds in raw form. They're now 6 pounds. Watch what happens when we put it in the Argent. We're down 3 pounds. Could you imagine? Uh, just take all this metal and just smelt it in those forges right there, right? The, the 1,800 pounds we had would become one-fourth of that weight. That's one-fourth. So let's get 1,800 pounds of metal and get smelted out. That would be that would be 900 ingots. So guys, remember that 1,800 pounds that was in the inventory of the bird originally, and I shoved as much as I could over into the bird, got it down to 11 well, look at it now, it's at 485. So, I'm, and just look at the amount of metal in this Argent. You can just take a fleet of Argents these days and fly them up and get your metal. Now, of course, you're not gonna have an Anglia or anything like that, but and you're gonna have to bring up a forge and some and a foundation to work on and some wood. But you know what? If you bring in two, three Argents to collect that metal, which you don't even need that many, you probably could get away with two and clear the whole mountain, you're gonna wind up with a lot of resources and you're going to have a lot of excess storage space, which is really, really nice because I don't know if you remember, but back in the day when it was hard to get metal and you took an Argent up there, you would load your Argent up and eventually, you know, you'd be flying slow. It's like, oh God, I got to throw some metal down. Well, now you don't have to throw as much down or maybe you have to throw more down because you still overloaded your, your Argent. But hopefully you brought a couple Argents. 
But, while it gets foggy over here, there's one other thing you're gonna wanna have to remember. We're not done yet. If you pack a little cementing paste, the Argent saddle becomes a smithy. We have 475 pounds of metal and with a little bit of cementing paste in there. Watch what happens when I start crafting things. Let's say I need a few walls. I need 10 walls. And I need a couple foundations. So guys, look at this now. Look at all this. All the materials gone at this point, except for a couple ingots and a little bit of cementing paste. And I've crafted 10 walls and 13 foundations. Well, that might not look like a lot. That's what you would have brought home on your bird. And look how much weight that is. That's 115 pounds. 115 pounds plus your own weight, which puts you probably around 120, 150, somewhere around there. That's where you're going to be kind of moving around, depending on how much equipment you brought with you. But look at that. You go from carrying home 1,800 pounds of metal, something that would have taken four Argents to carry all those days ago, down to just, just 127 pounds because it reduces the weight of metal. And while you could carry it home that way, you can take it a step further, bring a few forges up, bring some cementy paste up, bring a, a foundation up, and just smelt down your metal right on top and look at this i have 127.6 pounds of weight now. that's freaking awesome well guys that's really it for this uh this argent right here um unfortunately that's i mean it's got a lot that they changed but at the same time it's real quick to go over real easy to go over so that's kind of it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it hope you learned something about the argent maybe even learned something about how you should actually metal mine instead of doing it the old-fashioned way and carrying it all back but if you do gotta carry it all back don't worry about it Go ahead and carry it back. It's going to be a lot more reduced weight. Try and smelt it if you can before you can't before you go. But if you can't do any of that, just remember, it reduces weight now. You can also carry that obsidian back a little easier. And you can also even carry those ingots back a little easier. But well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Y'all take care. And I'll catch you next time.